Okay, what's your favorite story about Richie? Well, let me tell you. Richie Nagin's really important to me. He's my really good friend. But the number one reason that Richie's important to me is because I do George's merch, and I am not buying the action at all. I am far from the action. The bathroom today is about 4,000 feet over that way, and I can't leave. As you can see, there's people, and we're having trouble doing the story here. So. Richie comes every day at Maggot Brain, like clockwork, so I can go to the bathroom. There was a run a while ago, we were in Europe, a lot of them sweaty cheeses, those meats that are left out. We had eaten really good that day. And we went into Maggot Brain, I was feeling a little, a little unsettled. I had to use the head. And I'm waiting and I'm waiting and I'm really just not okay. It's not, it's not going so good, you know? And it's taking forever. Finally, I hear Michael go into Maggot Brain, and I'm like, yes, Richie's coming. I can use the bathroom. And I'm waiting, I'm like, oh, and I got cramp. I'm like, oh, come on, Richie, Richie. All right, sounds good. Richie never came that night. Complete brownout. It was really not okay. And I had to work with a complete brownout for the rest of the night, all because my good friend Richie Nagin forgot about me.